So we're going to take what we have learned on our short little workouts on the Cadillac and the Reformer from the last two weeks and apply it to Matt. So if you don't have the equipment, this is something you can do at home. So Amber, lengthen your legs. We're going to make you work. Just roll down. So she's going to roll it down nice and easy. Good. And let's go ahead and have you bend your knees so your feet are flat. And we're going to take your legs about hip width apart here. Make sure the feet are straight in line with the sit bones. And the pelvis is heavy. Arms are nice and long. And you're looking straight up towards the ceiling. Back of the neck nice and long. So we're going to keep the knees about hip width apart. We're not going to articulate today. I want you to really engage the glutes in your abdominals by planking today. So I want you to reach the arms long. You're going to really fire. If you, I have my hands just right behind your heels. Do you feel them? Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is not move your foot, but I want you to just pull in towards my fingers. Do you feel your glutes engage? Mm -hmm. So don't lift anything. Put your rear rim back down. <laughs> <laughs> just to feel an awareness of your glutes. I want you to really think about initiating from there. You're going to inhale, and I want you to exhale, fire into the glutes, abdominals, and you're just going to lift those hips up towards the ceiling. She has a nice diagonal line here. And then I want you to inhale and just bring the hips back down. Good. And feel like the whole time you're just lengthening out, lengthening your knees away. So you're getting a nice, if the quads are tight, she may be getting a stretch through there. And relax your shoulders here. Good. Exhale, lift. And we're watching to make sure everything stays lengthened on both sides of the waist. Knees in with the hips. Inhale, back down. We're going to do one more this way. Yep, reaching the arms. Exhale. Good. Yep. And then back down. So, now we're going to challenge the obliques a little bit. So, Amber has very tight hamstrings, so I'm not going to make her lengthen the leg up towards the ceiling be more like this today, I think. So we'll bring one leg into tabletop. So she's going to keep this knee right over the hip. Don't let it wander this way or that way. And we want this knee to stay as if it's between two panes of glass. So really working the outside and inner. You're going to do the exact same thing, a little more challenging, and we're going to keep the hips in line and level and not let one hip hike or drop. Think you're like an airplane and your hips are the wings. They want to go up together and come down together. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, same thing. You're just pushing the hips up towards the ceiling. Ooh, there you go. And inhale as you come back down. Good. And exhale. Up, keeping the length here a little bit. Uh-huh. And down. And whoa, that one went a little more towards the midline there. So again, this one's between two panes as well. So are you feeling your uh, glute on this side? Okay. Good. And I'm going to do this. Let's move this foot in a little closer. See how this is. Okay. So I keep this leg here and press up. Good. And down. One more. Relax the shoulders over. There you go. And exhale up. Now, each side of the body is different. So we'll see what our challenges are for this one. This may be the easier side, we don't know. What do you think? You think it's easier? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yes, yes, I do. Okay, so again, we're keeping the length here and press up. Keeping this knee, yes, good. And there we go. Relax this shoulder. Sounds like our neighbors are getting their little pedal party started. And prep up. Good. So, I want you on the next one to really focus on trying to keep the levelness as you go down and keeping, it's almost like this hip wants to go a little bit before. So try it again, last one. Exhale up, good. So keep this and just straight down, yes. And then bend the knees in and we'll give it a little stretch. So that was good. Yay. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep the knees there, just as they are. And I want you to go ahead and take your hand behind both hands, one on top of the other behind your head, and just open it up, get a nice stretch through the chest. 
and let's bring our legs into tabletop. So we've done on the reformer and the Cadillac, single, double, and scissors. So now we're gonna do it on the mat. We're gonna do it a little different because we're gonna have the hands behind the head, which is gonna give you more weight, of course, for you to have to bring up. So try to keep the elbows wide. Try not to let them start to drift forward. I want you to keep the knees here, and I want you to curl the head and shoulders up. Good. Now, single leg. I want you to pull one knee in, reaching the other, and switch. Inhale, and exhale. I think there's a little bar here. I want you to curl up higher over the bar if you can. Yes. Inhale, reaching, and exhale. Good. And try to touch my hand. Reach. Good. Pulling the other knee directly towards your shoulder. Good, keep curling up a little bit higher. Good, then bring both knees into tabletop and curl down. I'm gonna give you a rest in between today. Okay, so let's do the double legs. On this one, we're gonna start a little different. I want you to pull the knees in as close as you possibly can. Squeeze them together. I want you to curl up as if you're going to touch your forehead. Not that you know we can, but if we were really flexible. Um, trying. Yeah, that's our goal. So I want you to stay perfectly still in the torso, just like you did for your footwork. And I want you to inhale as you reach the legs away from you. And exhale, squeeze and pull them in, bringing all that air out. Inhale, reach. And exhale, pull in, pressing the ribcage back. Yes. Inhale, reach, like you're trying to touch our chalkboard over there. Exhale, pull it in. Good. Inhale, reach. Yes. Exhale. One more, pull in and rest. Good job. Abs are shaking, right? So we're gonna go into scissors. So for you, you can keep the knees soft, don't worry about that, but I want your focus to be the leg coming back and getting that hamstring stretch. So not so much how far can I take this leg, really enjoying that stretch. So again, arms are behind the head. I want you to Keep the legs in tabletop on this one here. And curl up as you exhale. Inhale, lengthen your legs. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna exhale as you drop one. And switch as you inhale. Good, and reach. We're not gonna do the pulses, we're just gonna reach. Good, I'm gonna give you a little stretch. Reach, and reach, and reach. So think you're reaching up and back. Up and back. Curling up as high as you can. Good, one more each leg. And then bend both knees in and curl it down. Good, all right, so bring the arms at your side. So we did this on the Cadillac with the single leg circles. So we're going to do it a little bit different today. I want you to take one leg, this one's gonna stay where it is, and I want you to just lengthen the other one up. So she's going to keep this knee here because for her, I want it to really be, we're gonna do very small today. And I want it to really feel as if you're just stirring, this is your spoon, this is your bowl, and you're just stirring your whatever, hot chocolate. So, hips stay still, let's externally rotate. Keep both back of the hips firmly planted. And this is your kind of guide, because we're not gonna go across the midline. I want you to just do a small little inhale, and exhale and feel like you're just so that's your range so see how small that is and keeping everything really still so do you feel the difference in the work with the abs and keeping it small good keep that external going there you go inhale exhale back up one more i lost count but i think that's around five yes okay so same thing leg is shaking inhale so it's very small. Inhale, and this is staying stable, not moving. Still between those two panes of glass. And as you know, I don't count very well. So let's do two more. Good. And one more. Good. And then bend this leg. We'll give it a little stretch. Good job. So it feels different than the bigger mm -hmm. circle, doesn't it? And it's just a little different work on the stabilizing muscles for that than as if we were doing it with a big circle. Both are good. It's nice to mix it up. So keep this here. Yep. Yeah. So again, this one's externally rotated. Small circle again. Inhale. 
exhale. Don't want to get, yeah, so watch this leg. Keeping it nice. Don't want to get whacked, so I'm going to come over here. Good. I'm out of your way. I don't want to whack you. You don't want to whack me. That's nice. Now, reverse, keep this just as heavy. So this side's staying heavy, especially on that out motion. Try not to lose that external, there you go. Good, one more. Good, was that side more challenging? Mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah. Good, okay. So the last thing we're going to do, we're going to take the double leg straight leg. Well, I cannot speak, it's been a long day. She's gonna work with the abdominals again with the double straight leg stretch. So hands behind your head. And we'll do pulling the legs in and just lengthen them as best you can. Okay, so exhale, curl the head up. Good, now we'll keep the knees soft for you. I want you to inhale, taking the legs just where you can without losing that flat back. Inhale, exhale. You deserve dessert tonight. <laughs> inhale with all the work you've done today. Exhale, two more, inhale. Good, exhale, keeping that pelvis nice. Good, now curl the head and shoulders down, rest. Ooh, yeah. So the last one we're gonna do is just, we'll just do some frog legs. So I want you to think just as if you were on the Cadillac with the leg springs or on the reformer and really keeping the torso stable. But we're gonna have you again curled up into your flat back. So let's start with the frog position, curl the head and shoulders up. So as low as you can take your frog legs, keeping your back flat and not letting it arch up, you're going to inhale, reach your frog legs out, squeeze, exhale, pull them in, aiming the shoulders and knees together. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Do you have a good connection there like it did on the footwork? Yes. And squeeze those heels together. Good, and in. Two more, curl up a little higher. Inhale, exhale, pull in, get all that air out. Inhale, one more, and you have made it, exhale and rest. Good. So that's a very quick, quick abdominal workout. Yep. So we are done. That's it. A quick little way to wake up those abs. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.